Hi, my name is Angelica Houston, and today I'll be sharing my health presentation topic on health issues in transgender women. For my introduction, I wanted to share that a transgender woman is an individual who is born a, a male but identifies as a female. One in every 30,000 women identify as transgender. Today, we will discuss the health issues surrounding transgender women and compare the significance of these issues in the United States versus Canada. Demographics of health issues surrounding transgender individuals. Um, transgender women are at an increased risk for contracting HIV, and many transgender women do not have a primary care provider that would be capable of treating this disease. Transgender women are statistically at a higher risk to commit suicide. Black trans trans transgender women specifically are at risk to experience physical violence. And 16% of trans women had experienced domestic violence in the last year compared to 7.5% of cisgender women. Trans prisoners are 10 times more likely to be the victims of sexual assault than the general prison population. So according to the Asher and Lyric Global Trans Rights Index, the United States is number 40 out of all of the countries in the world, and Canada is number three out of all of the countries in the world. So for some percentages, um, out of 1,608 U.S. trans women, 42.2% tested positive for HIV. And out of 1,059 Canadian trans women, only 7.5% tested positive for HIV. So for some demographics of these health issues, supports for transgender women in Canada versus the lack of support for transgender women in the United States is likely the reason for the significantly higher HIV rates. The government of the United States needs to pass bills that provide support for transgender women, such as the Transgender Bill of Rights, which would allow for equal and available health care for trans men and women. The Transgender Bill of Rights would also decrease discrimination and ensure equal education for trans men and women. Ethical considerations. HIV clinics have been introduced in areas where contraction of HIV is high. LGBTQ-friendly therapists and psychiatrists are welcoming transgender patients to come in for treatment of depression and suicidal thoughts. And police reformation and anti-transgender violence trainings are occurring in workplaces throughout the country. In summary, one in every 30,000 women identify as transgender. Transgender women are at an increased risk for contracting HIV, and many transgender women do not have a primary care provider that will be capable of treating this. Transgender women are statistically at a higher risk to commit suicide, and Black transgender women are at risk to experience physical violence. And here are my references.